Hey guys, it is Thursday evening here in West Virginia, and I'm going to do a quick unboxing video for you guys of a very disappointing piece of diecast I picked up the other day. Uh, this is your green light uh, 1968 Chevrolet C30 Dually Record, the standard oil road service. And it's from your Dually Drivers, and this is a really cool series. This is actually a really beautiful, sweet-looking casting. I will say that much. And I bought it to put over here in the old, abandoned, like, garage diorama that we have going on here. Pretty soon, I'm going to have to expand this and put a yard with cars sitting out in the yard behind a shop or something something like that because we're definitely running out of room here on this little like 10 by 12 piece of board the building is on um so it probably can fit like two or three more cars and that'd be about it so i wanted to get a tow truck and put over here something that was kind of suiting for this uh not anything like new so this when i seen it at hobby lobby I was like, wow, that's actually pretty sweet. That would be a really nice piece to put in the collection and put in this diorama. So I went ahead and grabbed it because the price wasn't that bad. I know Hobby Lobby is pretty expensive on a lot of their die casts. But for the dually drivers, it was $8.99, which, yeah, it's still a little high, but not much more than, like, say, finding it at another hobby shop and maybe $7.99 or on eBay it may be like $7.99 or maybe even as low as $6.99 but I don't think you're going to get it much cheaper than that then you got to pay shipping so I figured what the hell I'll go ahead and buy this and it's not weathered that was the only thing that I was kind of a little bit like hesitant to buy it because it wasn't weathered but the year the look was pretty correct and uh, if anything, I can make it look weathered. But <clears throat> when I got it out of the package, and if you wanted to know, this is from Dually Driver Series 13. Because as I said, it's a sweet looking truck. And if you're not planning on opening them, it's perfect. And if you're just going to put it like on its own in a display case or like in a lot at a gas station or something like that. And not have it, <clears throat> excuse me, hooked to anything and... As usual, I cut around the back edge to show you guys. So it opens like a door, and you can reuse your package if you wanted to. And anyways, I wanted to put this in my diorama hooked to a car. Well, when I got it out of the package and got one of my cars, we'll say this Mustang back here, like I have in the thumbnail picture. And I wanted to hook this Mustang to it. I figured I'd go ahead and drop this down. And to my surprise, all of this is fixed. It's not operational. Nothing is hinged, moving, or nothing like that. And I know they have a few other tow trucks like that, but I figured this one would be functional, but it wasn't. I haven't bought any of these old school tow trucks with the... um. I don't even know what kind of setup this is called. Most of them I bought as a new, like, repo-style ones with the forks that drop down and kind of wrap around the tire and then just raise up. And they have a couple of those in the Dually Driver series, and they're pretty cool. They're actually functional, and they work. So I thought that this would be functional, too. But it's not, unfortunately. So that was, like, the very disappointing thing. But... If anything, I can just set it over here where the El Camino is pulling into the garage. I can put him out here and leave this like sitting inside a little bit. Or I can just put it outside in the yard, like sitting here and not hooked to anything, waiting to go somewhere and maybe weather it up a little bit because it's too nice and shiny. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. So, yeah, that was a disappointment that I had with this green light truck. As I said, it's a beautiful looking truck. The detail is great. As you can see on the front end, you have nice detail and headlights and the grill behind the big push bar. And this push bar 
does look era correct. So it's really cool. Something that you like had welded up in the garage or shop where you work. It's not like some production type push bar. It may have been back then. I don't know. But it just looks very correct for this year of vehicle. The 1968 C30. The size it seems to be right. The scale and everything. Uh, the wheel and tire combo is really great on it. Looks good. And detailed chassis. And you can see it has the dual tires. So it is pretty nice. And the roll test of green light. Yeah, they wobble a little bit. But it does roll okay. And it does wobble though, but hey, it's green light or M2. I'm expecting a little bit of a bent axle, so it's not that big of a shocker. Besides the non-functional hook in the back, it's a pretty nice looking die cast piece. So, as I said, if you're just going to leave it setting out on its own, or if you're going to leave it in the package and just hang it up in the wall for your collection, that's great. But if you plan on using it, like in a diorama and make it functional, eh, it's definitely not the one you want to buy. Unless you can make it functional, which I don't have the skill set to do that, so I'm not even going to try to do it. But the detail of the hook set up in the back is very nice. I mean, it looks accurate and such, but unfortunately, it just does not work. So, that's just my two cents on that. So, it's not as bad as I made the thumbnail look that I'm that angry. Because it is a nice die-cast piece. Just disappointed it doesn't work. So, that's it, guys. Just wanted to show you this one. I'll be back again tomorrow to show you another car I bought for this diorama. So, we'll unbox that and add it to this little junkyard, barnyard project car theme <laughs> diorama as i said pretty soon we're gonna have to expand it though so thanks for watching guys i will see you again tomorrow